right guys, in the last episode you saw that we didn't have much success on the dyno, so it is time to get this thing torn apart and figure out what all the damage is. So let's get to work. So here's what happened. The tabs on the torque converter got broken off and that wedged the flex plate forward. The sparks that you saw were the flex plate grinding against the starter and it also knocked the thrust bearing out of the engine. This forced us to have to install a new engine. So that's what we did. Alright guys, we are in the process of prepping our new motor for the Datsun and I wanted to just go over a couple things before we moved any further. Now you'll notice that I've already taken the head off and I kind of wanted to take you through that whole process. So the reason that we chose this engine is because it appeared to be in very good shape. It did not look like the thing had been run very much and as I inspected further, I noticed that it had a reman tag on it. Now usually this is a mark of death for the guys that put the engines in without even taking them apart. Uh, you know, the true stock bottom end guys. But we had planned to take this thing apart and ring gap it, so I wasn't as concerned. Also, I had a feeling that since the engine had recently been apart, the head bolts were more likely to actually come out without snapping. And we were able to get every single one out without snapping any of them. They didn't even snap at the bottom. They all came out in one piece. And I'm super thrilled to be past that point. Frankly, that's been a big deterrent for uh, rebuilding one of these motors. And I'm glad that we're past it. So, not only are we going to gap the rings, we are also going to install a set of aftermarket connecting rods. If you guys are not aware, Molnar actually makes a set of forged connecting rods for this motor, and the plan is to finally install them on an engine. They are factory dimension rods, but I received a little bit of advice from a uh, big time inline six engine builder, who I'm not going to name, and he said that the Molnar stuff um, he was not impressed by, and he really recommended that I double check the tolerances and make sure that uh, it is going to work for us. 
So before I even think about installing them, I am going to measure the rod bearing crush. And what that means is I'm going to measure the dimension of the stock rod without a bearing installed and make sure that it's torqued down, of course. And I'm going to compare it to the Molnar rod all torqued down and see how they differ. If they are the same, we're good to go. Um, if they're off by more than half a thousandths maybe, um, then we may need to uh, look at other options. This is a very critical uh, dimension in your engine. You obviously need to get adequate preload on that rod bearing or else it will want to move around. So let's get to work.
right guys, it is all back together and it's time for this thing to go back onto the dyno. So make sure you guys say a little prayer for this motor. Obviously we haven't had any experience with the aftermarket rods, so hopefully things hold up how we think that they should. I'm really excited to see the results on this one. So just to go over the improvements that were made, we have head studs, ring gap, stronger connecting rods, the valve springs have been shimmed, so more valve spring force, and my dad also spent a bunch of time porting the cylinder head because he saw lots of low hanging fruit and I can already tell the thing is definitely making more power. That was definitely an expensive repair. We had to replace the engine and the transmission. So if you guys feel like supporting the channel, consider hitting the join button down below and becoming a channel member or you could get a t-shirt like the one that I am wearing. We also have another design, links are in the description. So the next video you see on this car, it will be back onto the dyno and we're probably not going to turn it up all the way right away just because we need it to be together for the No Name Nationals, but we will probably be doing that further down the line in the future, so stay tuned for that. We'll see you in the next one, guys. We blew it up. We fixed it up. And we're showing up at the No Name Nationals. Nationals.